In the 80s and 90s, Satellite Town used to be one of the most beautiful, well-laid-out government estates in Nigeria. For those who grew up here, the feeling of living and growing up in a well-planned estate remains one of nostalgia. I've been here for quite a while, uh, close to 30 years. I've been living in Satellite Town for close to 30 years. When we moved in, it was a very serene place, beautifully laid out with lawns, pedestrian walkway, an underground network of uh, drainages that discharges into the canal. They have a tertiary, a tertiary canal that discharges to the main can Lagos Lagoon. The roads were well paved and people uh, drive smoothly to their places. Precisely in 2010, uh, satellite was a little more decent. The roads were accessible. You know, we have uh, free movement of people. But these days it has turned upside down. Everything is chaotic. You can see I'm just trekking to work. If I don't get an Okada, I can't drive my car to... Because the road, the no, road very uh, close to us, is not accessible. If you can look, you see a lot of um, gutters and everywhere, the, the whole place is swamp. That used to be a very good uh, accessible road. The history of Satellite Town is rooted in the early 80s when the Lagos state government mapped out the area for residential purposes to assist low-income earners to acquire their own homes. The Satellite Town, like it was planned by the Abbasinger Motala government, it was specially made, specially made for civil servants and also senior people who were in the industry, who were actually in the industries. It was supposed to be a place of residence with facilities in place. We have like the civil service club, mainly for the civil servant and other senior public servants who also live around here. An offshoot of Festac. When Festac, after the uh, Festac 77, people were transferred to Satellite Town. Located along the Lagos Badagri Expressway in Amuwa Dolphin local government area of Lagos State, Satellite Town was once a model estate in Nigeria, like the Festac town before it, that was developed for the Second World African Festivals of Arts and Culture hosted in Nigeria in 1977. But today, the once beautiful town has lost its originality. The area is now replete with deplorable roads, degrading landscape, old tank farms and heavy-duty trucks. What used to be a beautiful, serene and distinct estate with well-laid roads has turned to a shadow of its old self. Well, my view about the old thing is that as a father and as a worker, a taxpayer at that, and uh, a member of the community, actually. I'm not particularly comfortable with the approach of the government about this uh, situation, uh, because I I'm not trying to run down the government. But as a matter of fact, government is expected to be responsible and responsive to the plight of the people, the taxpayers and all of that. We have a lot of economic activities going on in this area. We have the Alaba International Market on this corridor. We have the trade the fair on this corridor. And uh, a whole lot of things is happening on this corridor. And it's an international route, so to speak. It leads to Semen, the Republic of Benin. So government is expected to have done a lot of things, you know, to improve on the life of the people. Uh, because if the roads are not in good shape, if the road infrastructure, if it's not in good shape, it will give room for traffic-induced robbery, uh, people cannot predict their journey time. It affects the economy of the people on that corridor. And as a father, we, 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 even for the school bus to pick my children, it's a, it's a, a whole lot of uh, issue for them. I mean, we're feeling the brunt and we want government to, you know, come to our aid to, you know, improve on the life of the people and uh, put some palliative in place so that people can have a respite. Consequently, residents are now facing environmental pollution and other multiple threats. 
Mr. Adewale, a resident, said, We have not had it this bad. Residents are selling their houses and moving out of Satellite Town. One of the constant features of the area today is petroleum tankers packed haphazardly all over the neighborhood, causing traffic congestions on a daily basis. The other odds now stacked against this once welcoming area are the flooded roads and clogged drainages, which make it difficult for residents to go out during and after the rains. I think it's very bad for them to bring their boat to where people are staying. I, I will advise the government to come and eradicate it because people's life is at risk. As cosmopolitan as the neighborhood is, and with the spread of tank farms all over the place, Satellite Town does not have a fire service station in case of a fire outbreak. To return Satellite Town's lost glory, it is imperative for the government to step in and return sanity to the area. Dilapidated roads and clogged drainages have to be fixed. The town needs its own local firefighting equipment and tank farms have to be relocated from the heart of the residential area if it is to regain its lush glory. <laughs>